Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about tangent and cotangent, which is um, lesson four in the book, just to keep you posted. So tangent and cotangent, they both complete their look that they're going for. So like their complete um, rotation in a time period of pi instead of 2 pi. So this is something that's going to be brand new to us. So everything else is 2 pi except for tangent and cotangent. Again, there's going to be no amplitude. Oops. Um, like the domain and range in the other one, we are going to um, talk about that later. So tangent, um, instead of starting at 0 and going to 2 pi, we are going to start at negative pi over 2 and go to positive pi over 2. So it's going to look like this. If you look at the unit circle at negative 90 degrees and positive 90 degrees, um, the value of tangent is undefined. At zero, it is zero. And at pi over negative pi over four, it's negative one. And at positive pi over four, it's positive one. So we're gonna take those values that we would see in the unit circle and apply it. Um, these are gonna be our basic starting points, just like we have basic starting points for sine and cosine. Tangent and cotangent are each going to have their own separate starting points. So this is a look of the tangent function. So as tangent approaches this negative 90 degrees or negative pi over 2, it's going to approach negative infinity. And as it approaches a positive pi over 2, it's going to approach positive infinity. So if you'll notice, the range is going to be super easy. It's just going to be negative infinity to infinity. But our domain is a little trickier, so we're going to take the same thing. So usually, you can honestly start with any asymptote. The most um, accepted thing, way is to start with like a positive non-zero value. So I'm going to take this pi over 2 and start there. So I'm going to say x such that x cannot equal pi over 2 plus, and then do my um, pattern. So what's my pattern? So this is going to be a difference of pi, so it's going to be plus pi n. And you can't do interval notation with that one. Okay, so let's go to cotangent. So the period is going to be pi again. There's no amplitude. Um, the range is going to be the same. So pi such that pi belongs to the set of all reals. Um, but your domain is going to be different. You also, on this, um, for the cotangent, instead of starting at negative pi over 2, we're going to start here and go to pi. So it's going to be 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, and pi. And we're going to have the same um, y value look. So it's going to be undefined, undefined, 0. So if you'll notice on the unit circle at zero, um, cotangent is undefined, and at pi, cotangent is undefined, and at 90 degrees or pi over two, it's zero. Now, as tangent, notice this tangent look is going up, so it's going from negative one to positive one. Cotangent is going to be going down, so one to negative one. So these are my basic values, and I'll show you the graph. So the graph of your cotangent function should look like this. So this will help us. I don't really want to use zero. I'll use pi um, for my domain. So we'll come up here and say x such that x cannot equal pi. And then plus, and we'll find the pattern. So it's, again, pi in. And so we're going to um, do two problems. And go ahead and try those on your own. Um, same thing. So, like, we're going to multiply our y values, um, the three to our y values, and then divide all our x values by pi over 2. So, I mean, same process other than that, um, but your starting values are just going to be different. Okay, there is a lot going on here. So, um, double check my chart with what you have. 
um, you're going to divide by pi over 2, which is the same thing as multiplying by 2 over pi. So like, if you'll notice when I'm doing this, um, that's all I really cared about. Um, so tangent, unless it's a negative, tangent's always going up, so I'm always checking that. Um, the domain, um, if you want to put like negative 1 plus um, 2, oops, it's not 2 pi, it's 2 n, plus 2 n, um, that's okay. I mean, okay. There you go. Um, it's just remember, like, it's usually positive. So that's why I did that. Um, why are your ranges negative infinity, positive infinity? Um, your period, instead of 2 pi over b, it's going to be pi over b, the tangent and cotangent. So I did the math there and I got 2, and there's no phase there. Okay, so now we're going to look at cotangent. So go ahead and see if we can do that. Okay, and finally, here is our cotangent graph and um, all of this stuff up here, make sure it all matches.